Okay, everybody, this is Travis. Welcome back to t Pulse Corner, and we're nearing the end of the theme card week, Peer Into the Abyss, where we pull a whole bunch of different decks all centered around this card and show you how you can pull off different combinations. We skipped uh, Teferi's Tutelage, uh, but we did put in Teferi's Ageless Insight tonight in this deck, so we can uh, draw through our deck pretty fast. There is one copy of Underworld Dream, so there is still that possible winning combination for you. But the other thing that we wanted to cover was what else can you get out of card draw? And well, it turns out there's a certain creature called Dream Trawler that whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus one, plus zero until the end of the turn. Uh, so if you have Dream Trawler out on the battlefield and you play Peer into the Abyss and you have 40 cards left and you play this on yourself, you're going to draw 20 cards and you're going to have suddenly a 23 slash five creature that can also gain hexproof if needed so how do we get this to happen here's the rest of the deck all seed of life's bounty to protect other creatures light of hope to destroy target enchantments mostly blood chief's thirst to take guard of creatures or planeswalkers sanitarium skeleton to bring a blocker right back to us all time and time again birth Miletus to help us on the the ramp because we've got white and blue and black we've got arcane subtraction that allows us to get into the sideboard where we have mercurial transformation environmental sciences again to help with land getting it out reduced to memory for those tough non-land permanents we otherwise can't reach teaching of the archaics in case we empty our hand and need to fill it back up expanded anatomy introduction of prophecy and in case we get a chance doomscar Doomscar is not the normal uh, lesson that you get from digging into your sideboard, but there may be other ways we can get into our sideboard. So that's there just in case. All right, we've got Folio Fancies, which you've seen before, so we have no maximum hand size. So when we draw all those cards, hopefully we've got this out or we can play it right away, and we don't have to discard those 20 cards that we just drew. Tested Talents to uh, hopefully get rid of something like, uh, say, a, a, a timely counter spell is what I'm looking at protecting against. Acquisitions Expert to see into their hand and see what we're coming up against. Epic Downfall to take care of big creatures. Sanctum Stone Fangs to give us a little bit of life. Thos's Intervention hopefully as a counterspell, although if, uh, if the game lasts a long time, we can use this to dig through our deck and hopefully call up the right card that we need at the right time. Selendi Vision can be a land if we need it, but that also digs through quite a few cards. Solve the Equation brings instant or sorcery, which means if we've got Dream Trawler and we don't want to wait for it and we don't have it in our hand already, we can go use it to bring Guarantee the Best right into our hand. Mind Drain for a little bit of discard. Uh, Varagoth, Bloody Sire, Blood Sky Sire, sorry, you've seen this in uh, almost all of our black decks whenever we want to search for a particular combination, along with Grim Tutor, which we also use to search through our deck. Demonic Embrace is a little uh, helper to... Uh, Say if we have Sanitarium Skeleton out and we bring them back and we bring them back and we bring them back and we're not having much luck on the offense, eh, maybe we could give them some flying and see what happens. One Murder, the One Underworld Dreams, One Raven's Warning, aha! We create a 1-1 blue bird creature talking with flying, we gain a life. The second lore counter, whenever we deal damage with a flying creature, uh, we can look at the player's hand and draw a card. Finally! You may put a card you own from outside the game on top of your library. So if we need to go get a Doomscare, maybe that's how we get it. One Crystalline Giant. One Sky Scanner is a little chump blocker for flying that replaces itself. That's why we have 61 cards. We don't mind with, between Birth of Miletus and Sky Scanner and other draw cards, we don't mind having 61 cards. Gadrick the Wizen to draw a whole bunch of cards. So if we can't quite get to... Uh, let's say we can't get to Peer into the Abyss, but we do happen to have Gadwick. If Dream Trawler's out, Gadwick drawing a number of cards from that could also pump up one of the Dream Trawlers quite nicely. Uh, Tome Anima. Uh, Anima can't be blocked as long as you've drawn two or more cards for the turn, which happens quite a bit if you have Teferi's Ageless Inside out. Blood Price to dig through your deck. Some removal with one copy of Eat to Extinction and one of Extinction Event. Um, I usually use these, I, always, I almost always have these in my black decks for, uh, you know, just one copy each for removal. One copy of Nightmare Shepherd, 
That way, if we lose something like Dream Trawler in Nightmare Shepherd's Out, we can actually get Dream Trawler back. It'll come back as a 1-1 creature, but it'll still have the same powers. One Lithoform Engine, we've uh, played with this card before, and we can uh, act as a very big force multiplier if we use this card. It's one of my favorite cards, I think. And in case we have more trouble, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Plus one copy of Seagate Restoration. This is uh, similar to Folio of Fancies in that it's there because it makes sure we have no maximum hand size. Uh, plus it'll give us a little bit of card draw. So that's the name of the deck. Search, Peer, Draw. So if we don't have the search, we can go find the peer into the abyss. And we're using almost all of our methods to feed into Dream Trawler so that we can draw more cards, draw more cards, draw more cards, pump her up, pump her up, pump her up. And that's pretty much it. 11 creatures, 25 lands. We're going to take it out for a spin. Make sure to like these videos. Make sure to subscribe to these videos. Make sure to share these videos with your friends. If you don't have friends, go ahead and get some friends so you can share these videos. Go forth and get it done now as we take this deck out for a spin. One of each color. Who could ask for anything more? Don't say Toyota. Now the one problem you come against when you're playing red is sometimes they have little pest and brick damage cards that can ice off. We'll take the blue now, and that's all we're gonna do. Lots of colors here. They're willing to give up Magda just for the treasure. Very interesting. Oh, you know what? Let's see if they're willing to spend removal on a 1 1 creature. Magic is back again. Uh, I do wish I had a land. what we're up against. Dried and Terror of the Peaks. Okay, so we're going to hold our ammo for Terror of the Peaks. But we might need two of those. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and bring our skeleton back. Don't need to worry about Tested Talents this particular round. Will you give up one of your treasures to bring out the dragon? Zorn. Magda gets sacrificed again to the same skeleton. Thank you very much. Card we own from outside the library. We're taking the Doom Scar. Let's see. Players have no maximum hand size. I like the way that comes across. Done. All runs epiphany. All right. We'll block the first round. The next round's gonna hurt. Saving his dragon. <sighs> I 
How dare you, sir? Do I want to use it? Um... Okay. gonna do I can foretell that can't quite bring him back why does it keep using the blue because it wants me to be able to use one of these all right I may be in trouble because I actually need one more white mana that I still haven't gotten this whole time Finally, through waiting. Nine eight. All right, that's what I call perfect timing. Say goodbye to all of your friends. Actually, let me save him for no. I guess I can do this to a planeswalker too, right? So. We'll go ahead and do this. And let's finally bring down a creature. Okay, let's do some setup. We finally have some breathing room. Get a little bit of life back. Give me back my life! Another painter. Another treasure. Another day. Let's see. Three, four, six, seven. Let me... Wait and see what they're going to do. So I've got a trick. Up my sleeve, if they let me. These creatures we put in the graveyard. Feels good. They deserved it. They were attacking me. It was all self-defense. Did you see how big that dragon was? Now I've made them skittish. Feed bear. Break the dragon. I'm oh, sorry. Play around with his gold. It's not me, it's him. You see how just the presence of a 1-1 creature just makes them tremble in paralyzed fear. Do I have another Doomscar? Do I? You see I have another skeleton. Well, it's not another skeleton, it's the same skeleton. Oh, you know what? Could you do? Could you cast an instant or a sorcery, please? I've been holding on to this the entire game. I would like to use it. Or you could just stare at your painter some more. going to stop talking and we'll have our crack editing team cut out some of this boring stuff. quitting I heard I hit you once your health is still don't go I, I have all these cards I want to play still 
<gasps> he was faking me out. He's still around. All right, what are we gonna do next? Oh, my trick. Twice as many skeletons. Although, as a token, his return power is just not going to work. The token does not have flavor text quote. And we're roping again. I know you're there. I guess we'll take that. Didn't get to our win combo. We're going up against our opponent Shrab now, which is a uh, boring cousin of uh, Shrapnel. Really? Nothing but tap lands all the way through? Unusual. I've decided that most of my opponents are sadists and bullies. And what tends to happen is they send creatures to hit me in the face, and I get down to 9 points, 8 points, 7 points of life, and 1 point. And then, these guys, they quit. So this guy's going to come hit me. Then he's probably gonna quit. in the house. Toski's out of the house. Hmm. All right. We could be courting disaster with that one, but we'll take him. I just can't say no to you. Do you have trample? Ba ba ba, double. No. Okay. That's right, you just keep gaining life. You attack my skeleton, why don't you? A worthwhile use of your time. Hey, part of our combo. Sweet.
maybe uh, before we get around to these boys. Waiting for extras that are... There's Odd again. Why does he keep doing odds? Trying to make extinction event worthwhile by taking out more than one creature at a time. Come along, come along. You know you want to. gonna hurt. Seriously. Interesting. Mm. Well, I can't play Extinction Event now, can I? I have the wall. I don't want to wipe out my wall's existence. Okay, maximum hand size is here. Don't have to discard anything. Got some choices now. Just need a dream troll. Oh, that one has haste. It's even at least. Much of a choice, are they? Hi, Wall. Didn't even get to name them. Uh, let's see. We will also murder you. And no attacks because you might have somebody with haste. Although, hopefully, it's not yet another Brushfire Elemental or Inferno the Star Mounts because I can't block either one of those. I can block a zero one. I can pump this up. Now I gotta watch out for a land with haste coming at me next. Which means we need more blockers. No trample, though, right? Just haste. for you. Mm -hmm. 
You're holding on to one final land. You can see the the gears turning in this guy's beady little head. He chickened out. He doesn't want to do it. It's fine. We'll get more stuff out. More stuff. More stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Finally, we'll draw down some of life. Another owlbear. Hmm. I kind of like that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Finally, we've got a Dream Trawler now that we're almost out of cards to draw. Okay, did we put down a land yet? Nope. Hey, give me a land. Mm, bam. And what do we want to do? We have Gadrick out now, so we can afford to attack. Throw the land over here. Make it easier. Okay, you got five creatures now. <gasps> Killed my guy. I was saving him. You don't have a way to pump him up. Yeah, yeah, take that back. I don't think you were thinking things properly. Okay, so I got these and these are worthless now because he's not keeping any cards. Uh, okay, let's put down one of these. We'll make it black. Uh, let's put down one of these. And we'll tap, tap you down one of these we'll tap you get a bird and what else do we want to do we'll attack with our death toucher and we'll go choose the card that we want to draw next is there anything in here that's going to help us now Good to do almost anything. But one other thing, see, we've done Underworld Dreams so many times, so let's have fun with Live Format. I mean, there's so many options now. And he's not quitting. See, this shrapnel is a little bit different than the others. He's not just trying to hit me in the face and then run away when things don't go his way. He got to punch me a few times. It's been fun for him. It's been great fun for him. He's still higher life than he started. He probably thinks he can pull this off. Didn't really need haste, so that doesn't really help him much. We gotta wait while he figures out which dungeon to go into. <gasps> he got us for another life again. Oh, I wonder if he'll do the Veil of Fear and make us lose two life unless we discard a card. I 
don't have enough land out. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I used 11 out of 12. I don't want this other stuff. <laughs> he does it. Each player loses two life unless they discard a card. You know what? I'm going to discard a card. There. You cost yourself two life. Okay, so let's give up some creatures. This guy, this, he has trample, so we're gonna we're gonna give up Gadwick, and we'll just block. We'll just block with the one one there. Don't know what he was thinking. You did that after your attack. Okay, we're going to try the combo now. Hopefully we don't mill ourselves to death. Alright, Pure Inch of the Abyss. We play it on ourselves. We go down to 5 life. Draw all those cards. Dream, Craw Dream Trawler gets all the triggers. And we made ourselves die because we didn't have a card left. <laughs> okay, so we drew just enough to kill the opponent. We had him uh, taken care of with the reach, but we actually drew too many of our own cards. So on the final command for Dream Trawler to go forward, she gets to draw one more card. And we couldn't get out of that. Um, so maybe I do need to figure out a way to put a card back in the library <laughs> before I do stuff like that again. Um, in case people were wondering why I wasn't using Ugin the whole time, Ugin is my ace in the hole. I use him if I'm in trouble. Um, but uh, I thought this was a kind of funny way to uh, commit Harry Carry anyway. Uh, thankfully, Shrapnel stayed in for the entire show. But yeah, this is the one danger of the deck. So this is our illustrative example of what not to do. You do have to do a little bit of math when you get near the end of your deck to make sure that uh, when you've got, um, especially Teferi's Ageless Inside Out, at the same time as you do Peer Into the Abyss, because you're gonna draw, uh, you draw two cards in excess of every one that you would draw. So we drew half of our deck and then we drew the rest, which would have been fine except for Dream Trawler's special combination here. Whenever you, uh, she attacks, you have to draw a card. And we didn't have any left, so the, the one drawback to this entire combo is if you do have Teferi's Agents Insight and you play Peer, you better have a card left in the deck <laughs> uh, somehow, uh, or Dream Trawler can't attack. Okay, so keep that in mind. One little problem with the deck. Maybe just a problem with me not being able to do math, but still kind of fun. Okay, we're doing a little deck tweak just because, although that was funny to mill myself, there is a way to prevent it, and that's if we use Thos's Oracle. Uh, when Thos's Oracle enters the battlefield, you get to look at the top cards of your library, where it's equals to your devotion to blue. Put one of them on top of your library, the rest on the bottom. However, if X, the number of cards you draw, is greater than or equal to the number of cards in your library, you win the game. So if we had... Um, Instead of attacking with Dream Trawler, if we were able to draw all those cards and then play Thos's Oracle, we would have actually just won the game right then and there without having to attack. Um, I don't know that I want two of those because you don't really want that card too early in the game. It's truly really a late stage game. And since I'm adding a card, I want to take one away. So when I'm looking at this, I have 12 creatures now, which is more, but um, where is my three drop? Let me pull this up here. Monica Embrace. Uh, this can be a good card because you can bring it back and recycle it over and over, but you really need to have a steady supply of creatures out, and I am short on creatures, so let's put the deck back to 61. And this deck is still going to be a little slow, but we're going to do that and see if we can uh, 
you know, just make sure we don't mill ourselves to death again. All right, we'll take this out for a spin. Hmm. Okay. We'll try. No white spells yet, but... The Sheffler is fine. All I did was play a creature like you did. Yeah, they usually say nice when they're trying to uh, kill you next. Alright, so let's see. Odd, odd, odd. We don't really care that we lose him since they neutered him, right? some blue at this point. They just put down one more creature. It's not enough time to wait for Ugin. Yep. I think he realized he needs to keep the pressure on. He's playing two colors instead of three. And he can play all of his spells. He can't play any of ours. Nope, do I need to revisit the land mix? enough. Okay, I did go in there and take out one planes and add one more island because it did seem like things were a little lopsided there. Might be goblins. Or some version of the haste deck. Look, a goblin and haste. What do we got? One, one, one. Those are all odds. I guess I could just go get extinction event now. Why are you tapping manually?
wonder if they know that you don't have to tap manually. Alright, let's get rid of all the odds. This really needs to be white in case I get one more land so I can cast Green Crawler. Vicious, isn't he? There's max of seven cards in your sideboard for this, so it shouldn't be that hard to make a choice. Exile, because I have nothing out. So yeah, that card makes sense. It's fine. Let's see. We do this. I should have been doing the auto tapping because it doesn't let me cast a fairy's aid this insight like I was planning. Okay, you know what? Fine. Get rid of you. Sure, we'll keep that. I have a wall. Hmm. We're gonna do it. Oh yeah, use your annihilation on me, buddy. I double dog dare you. Battle cry goblin. <laughs> Cheap card again. Excellent. Okay. You can die because you give others haste. And I don't like haste right now. Life link to the rescue. And you come back. You can exile that card if you want to. I used it to kill myself in the earlier match anyway. You're exiling a 0 4 wall. Why do people keep killing my walls? Okay, I drew two because I had to draw one from the Annihilation, and Teferi's made me draw the extra one. Made me, let me, whatever. See, and this is what's happening, is the, the bad guys get to punch my face, punch my face, punch my face, and as soon as I put down one card that changes the status quo, they leave. They're just a bunch of bullies, they're trying to beat up on me, they can't handle it. Lots of land, I like it. Maybe if I'm nice to this guy at the very beginning, maybe if I hang around long enough for me to get it underway. Oh, 
a lot of people, if they do not get that easy win in the first four or five turns, they scoop. They don't want a challenge, they just want their easy wins. Hmm, interesting. Well, you're tapped out now, so what do you have? This can be fun. Here's the flying. You get to look at their hand and draw a card. Twin Blade Assassin, Murder, and Accomplished Alchemist. What do we want to get? I can't get that one. I need to get a lesson. So, let's get that. Ah, that one we can put onto the top of the Now we get it. All right, how do we want to do this? Put that down. We murder you. What are you now? That is everything now. from anybody, because I'm expecting you to put this guy down. That gives you another elf warrior, which is what I expected. I'm not seeing any counters yet. And I'm not seeing any game life game. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. But, you all need to go away. This becomes worthless as long as I don't put anybody out. I just kill you with Underworld Dreams. What about this card you've been holding on to? There you go. Gross. what we got in here. Need one of those. And I guess one of these. And let's bring him back.
Oh, no, you don't. You got more murders in that deck? You do, you have one. Let's go take a look. What else we got? Karak Wrangler. Another Elvish Warmaster. Yeah. Elder Fang Ritualist. Valentin. Ah, Tyvar Kel. Okay. I'm not necessarily seeing anything really, really... Yeah, yeah I like the light. And you down. Got a blocker. I'm not seeing anything amazingly life-threatening. Never mind, that's a pain. Ah, but we'll get rid of that one. Let me have the life, please. Thank you. Okay, we can do... We can look at six cards. Let's go dig as deep as we can. Okay, we like Extinction Event. Hmm. Don't need more land, that's for sure. At least I can do Sanctum. Folio. Ah, an even card. Excellent. It's good tramp. Does it matter which one I block? Not really. We are flooding out today, aren't we? Evens go away. You can come back. You can come down. And you can come down. Still no real sign of counters. Why do you have Ozolith? Each player is going to draw some cards. Except every time you draw a card, it hurts you. Look at there. kill him with the combo. We could, you know, make this, stretch this out, and try and get our green crawler. But...
We'll just say good game. Because I'm down to 10 life. Tap the one land. That was useful. Alright, beat it with a regular combo that time. We want to get Dream Trawler up again. Well, that's a little early for me to be getting Dream Trawler, but we'll see if we can make it work. And like constantly getting the most powerful cards in your deck that you can't possibly cast for turns and turns all the time. Uh oh. You may solve that problem for me. Or he may decide that he has so much time to prepare for that that he doesn't need to worry about it right now. Well, he's taking a long time to think about it. I wonder if I have enough time to go to the bathroom and come back. Got my underworld dreams. He kind of knows I don't have a creature or anything to threaten him right now. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what color do we want? Good. All right, let's see what you got. You're holding on to stuff. Two can play the discard game, buddy. Are you going to... No, oh, it took him less time to think about what to do there. Got a snakeskin veil now. I'd like to know. No, huh? Okay. This was kind of bad. Uh, reduced enough. Reduced to memory. I can't really use it right this second. But, yeah, whatever. Let's see. I'll take you, and I'll take you. No, I'll take you. These are odds, right? Counter spell, what are you doing? It's my turn. Please let me take my turn. These people are so rude all the time. Odd, odd. Two for one. Mm 
Yes, why don't you rope me some more? Because that's effective. Dreamtrawler is traditionally hard for people to get rid of. Destroy creature with fly. No, because I'm going to discard a card. Like this one. You got another one? Why don't you attack me? Yes, excellent. Attack me with your 1 1. See? Bunch of bullies. Hit me while you can. <laughs> oh, that's rich. I did say I wanted to get Dream Trawler out, didn't I? That's just beautiful. Two of a kind. We're playing poker. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm tapped out there, aren't I? I did want to use um, Grim Tutor to go get Pier, but I'd rather keep them both alive right now. Hey, they've got twins too! Double your pleasure, double your fun. Where's the double mint spearmint gum? Let's see, I can play Thassa's Oracle too. Sure. And let's see, I get to one of them on top of my library, right? Okay, let's just take Lithoform Engine because I like it so much. Are we ready? Attack! And that's how effective Dream Trawler is. Okay, I think we're going to stop there for tonight. We didn't quite get to show you the Dream Trawler Peer Into the Abyss combo, except for the one time when I milled myself to death. Um, but I'm okay with not showing that to you today because we've got another deck tomorrow that still has both of those cards in it, along with uh, a different mix of things. So we might still have a chance to see that tomorrow because we're in the middle of theme week and peer into the abyss is the theme card and we're going to build another new deck tomorrow and test it that has mostly different cards i want to say but it does have dream trawler still in it and i'm not sure i'd probably tweak this deck a little bit more it's not quite competitive or anything like that it is fun to play fun for me anyway um, i like the fact that i've got uh, you know raven's warning that gets me to doomscar when i feel like it um, rather than having Doomscar somewhere in the deck and having to, to rely on that. I usually end up using my, my Grim Tutors to go get Extinction Event earlier than I draw it. Um, maybe Lithoform Engine doesn't belong in here, possibly. It's, it's kind of luck of the draw. If you get it out and you manage to get enough land down, you can really, you know, go to town with this card. Ugin's in there mostly as a get-out-of-jail card if I get into trouble. Otherwise, I actually don't like to, to play it. So sometimes I'll hold on to it even when I can play it, just because I'm having fun playing the game. Uh, this can be a frustrating deck to play sometimes because you don't quite get to get your combinations out all the time. People will scoop as soon as they sense the wind turning. Um, but, you know, it's still fun to play. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, go ahead and find some friends that also like magic, tell them about the channel, share one of the favorite videos that we made so far with them, spread the word, and uh, come back tomorrow, because there's always going to be another new deck right around the corner. Have a good one.